I know it's the weekend. A lot of people yes. are looking for maybe a getaway from the heat, especially. Yes. Prescott's a popular place, a little cooler up there. So that would be the perfect place this weekend to try out a new taqueria, yes. which is making a splash in this beloved Arizona town. So Jamie is giving us a look at La Planchada. Hey guys, I know I got you at tacos and tequila. This is La Planchada right here in Prescott. It just opened in January. So if you've been up here, you may not have been here yet. I want to introduce you to the man bringing this restaurant to town, Skylar Reeves. Uh, Skylar, you have six different concepts here in town. You're flanked by two ladies. <laughs> Tell me why you moved to Prescott. Sure, so I moved to Prescott about seven years ago. Uh, my parents had moved here before and I had been visiting a lot from California and just fell in love with the town. It's a great place to raise kids. This is my daughter Vivian here. And, uh, and so we love living here and I just, I love the restaurant scene here and just really enjoyed it. Mama Lee, you moved to town some 10 years ago. Yes. Now your son is back. He yes. It's quite the restaurant tour. What do you think? Oh, I'm thrilled. It makes life very exciting. <laughs> Are you babysitting a little bit? Oh, yes. It's, it's a, my pleasure. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's great to be Vivian, with you. Vivian, what do you think of the menu here? What, what must I order? Chicken taco. Why? Why do you like those? Because it's... Um, the sauce. Don't you like the sauce? Yeah. What about the sauce? Is it spicy? Is it sweet? It's kind of spicy. What happens if you don't like something on the menu here? I don't eat Oh, <laughs> I told her to tell Pops to pull it. Let's talk to the chefs. We have Chef Tony and Chef Gabriel. And man, did they bring out a spread for you. So you want tacos, you want chips and guac. The guac is delicious. These cornbread muffins are not to be missed. Chef Tony, what's your favorite here? Uh, I'd have to go with the cornbread muffins or uh, the cheese crisp. It's, it's a light, fun, um, old, it's childhood memory. Yeah. yeah. Um, it reminds it me of goes, what my mama would feed me after school. Yeah, and it goes well with all the mixed drinks that we have oh, here, too. Soaking up the alcohol, that's yep. what I heard. Uh, what about these cornbread muffins? Because I haven't seen that on a, a menu at a Mexican restaurant before. Um, well, the idea came about um, from kind of like fine da dining, yeah. where the chef sends out an amuse bouche, and um, this was kind of our humble take on it. Um, it's something simple. It's unique, it's different. It's um, flavorful. It's I had a flavor. bite and I went, ooh. Yeah. Chef so, Gabriel, tell me about these tacos. Uh, so we brought out a spread of five different, uh, of our, uh, five different tacos off our menu here. Uh, we do make several different sauces and uh, for and for them as well. Starting off over here on the left, we got our uh, carnitas taco, going to fried chicken. We have just our normal carne asada, which everybody loves. Uh, over here we got our brisket, which is, uh, a, cooked in a Oaxacan chili sauce, and then of course, our fish taco. Barling Hound and the county seat, two of Skyler's restaurants. He also picked up two legacy restaurants right here in Prescott. You know Rosa's Pizzeria, the Penne Vodka is delicious. Taco Don's as well. A big responsibility taking on these legacy restaurants too. Yes, yes, I do see it as a big responsibility. Uh, I love both Rosa's and Taco Don's and I don't think I could have done it any better. So I just, my goal is just to keep the train on the tracks there, keep the employees happy and, and make sure that that delicious food that Prescott has known and loved for decades and decades continues to be available. Yeah, so that bean and cheese burrito, that's what's for breakfast for me a little bit later. I know you're coming up to Prescott this summer. I know you wanna eat local. I know you wanna support Arizona. We have all the information on azfamily.com.